Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the AVS show. Welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Yep. And after the show, go on Instagram and follow us at the AVS show. It is still premier week. Four marks. Okay, Rick. Yeah. 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 All right, so <clears throat> today's topic, who's gonna start for us? Let's just dig right into it. Yeah. Timani, you have the first topic for us. What's going on with Davido? Davido is doing well and I'm excited about it. Davido has become the first African artist to have a solo single in the first or top 40 um, urban radio charts in the United States. Amen. So that's big news. Yeah. Obi 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 Money fall on you. So yeah. what does that mean? Banana fall on you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? It's really a good question. So, so what, does banana that for, you? what does that mean for you guys, for Davido to be on Billboard? Well, it's putting Africa on the map. Okay. And it's inspiring for any African artist that is trying to break into the Western. And you know, because the buying market is really here, let's be honest. Back mm -hmm. home, we know they buy musical. We're yeah. always looking for free download. Yeah, That's why course. we don't make money. But here, Mm -hmm. They buy music, they, they stream it on Spotify, on iTunes, and when your music is played on the radio, you get a lot of royalties. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the year, he's going to get a whole lot of money because every time you tune to Power 105 yeah. or Hot 97, <coughs> Hot, yes. Hot 97. Banana yes. Fall on You. So mm -hmm. it's, his song is the first song by an artist, not with a collaboration. Yeah. You know, like some artists make it, they collaborate mm -hmm. with international Whiskey artists and, and the others, but one. this is only the video and it made it to the top 40 songs and it's actually on number 23 and climbing yeah. what song was that you know uh, fall. 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 fall yeah which fall, was written fall, by which fall, was written by fall is it? over a year old is it over a year it's over a year well yeah. congratulations davido i think this is awesome yeah. this is amazing yeah. um you know when we entered into 2019 mm. a lot of us you know, wrote down our New Year resolutions. Mm -hmm. We are still trying to accomplish it, but I feel like the video <laughs> yeah. is working. Absolutely. Yeah. It's only in March, mm -hmm. but he is working yeah. because the competition, as we all know, yeah. is techno, is whisked, yeah. is burnable. Burnable. And the video is not slowing down. Yeah. So I think you know this is great for Nigeria. This is great for Africa. For and I am so I'm so. And also proud. remember, I was uh, you know uh, uh, talking to you, Timani, earlier yeah. about this development because you know as a singer as an artists that we are in the industry yeah. Yeah. this is also like an opportunity and it, uh, that he has created you know yeah. with the success yeah. because right now industry people and radio people can actually you know uh, have that interest to listen to music Afrobeat. to listen to Afrobeat to listen to sounds coming from you know Afrobeat. Africa and stuff like that you know so this is really like a roadmap you know for us you know mm -hmm. as we're coming up you mm -hmm. know as singers as artists in the industry to you know put ours like we have more confidence right now mm -hmm. not to if we, if we decide not to promote in Nigeria we can say okay we we want to promote right here in the United States, right. and yeah. it would actually, you know, it pull sell mm -hmm. and yeah. work. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm really my, proud of the video. Yeah, my thing about it is that you know, the God, the father of Afrobeats, that Fela Rafa Fela Kuti, Kuti. Yeah. who used his music to give messages about change, about working together, mm. about community organizing. Mm. And it's so funny, full circle now, 2019, this music is bringing every all the black people together. together. Yeah. Yeah. Afrobeats is joining us. Across the lines, yeah. from francophone yeah. to anglophone, anglophone. we to are Caribbean, joining yeah. together mm -hmm. around Afrobeat. So literally, what Fela spoke about, right. talked about, is happening with this right. music now. Yeah. So to me, it is such a coup for us mm -hmm. that David O is now mainstream and is doing his thing, and it really, really makes me feel good because you know, right now Nigeria is is a is, 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 is it's a, a problem, it's a mess. Let's be real, real about that, right? <laughs> it's a mess because of the politics and everything, corruption. But to have something beautiful to be as proud music, because you know, music does yeah. something to you that nothing else can. It creates emotion, oh. it, cre it, it creates memories, and it's something that unites people. So I am so happy that David O's well, doing Well, Afrobeat awesome. being the Thank sound you. of, I, I, I feel that Afrobeat is the sound of Africa. Mm. Africa as a continent, I feel Afrobeat is our, this is us. Mm -hmm. And to know that, there's a growing demand mm -hmm. for Afrobeat to be infused into pop, into culture. everything, into pop culture, Soul, into hip hop. Army, it's just it's stuff, heartwarming. Yeah. A couple of days ago, a post was put up <coughs> by Tory Lanez. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, telling him, you know, where we gonna get the studio? Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. And and also went ahead and say, oh, we should we should even in include whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. And 
they be quiet. No, they be not and bother boy too. Because they didn't respond to the risky It's great. No, Glitterati, don't go there. Let's not even go into that story. I don't know what's going there. Let's just leave I hope it doesn't stop here. I hope this, you know, continues. And I'm so glad that you also came up with a program called the SOA, which is also focusing on upcoming artists. Because right now, we only have, you know, when when you say Afrobeat, Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of Afrobeat artists, but I think of four, you mm -hmm. know? So I want more. Yeah. And I want my females more to music, go, you know, yeah. you know, to climb up as too. well. Yeah. I, I think I, I think um as the demand for this Afrobeat is it's increasing in, yeah, in, in, is. in the foreign world. Like, is, I feel yeah. like it's time for them to go into <coughs> Africa and mm. look for talent. Undiscovered talents. There are, yeah, there are a lot of them. That are, are. That, there are a lot of them. Lot Besides of them. the ones that are known, our Bonner Boys and our David Doe, there are a lot of kids that are out there that are doing. I was playing a track in the studio this morning when you saw me. I was jumping to the song. I liked it. A lot of people liked it, but these are kids that are you not hear known. What she was playing. It um, was interesting. <laughs> All right, so let's see how it goes. Let's the next topic. Um, it's Fist Fire. Oh, What's Jesus. going on with the Instagram fashion influencer? Laura AKG, mm -hmm. who is uh, an Instagram fashion influencer and the wife to Kanu Wanko's younger, younger brother, brother. Obona, mm -hmm. <laughs> says that she hates Kanu Wanko's wife, Amara. Uh -huh. Yes. Makagini. And th that's her, right? <laughs> so the one, on, the one with the carrots is Amara. Mm -hmm. And the one on the left, with the, um, on the right with the glasses, that's Laura. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says she hates um, Amara because um, she had disrespected her husband a few ago mm -hmm. and never apologize to him. Mm -hmm. So, this all happened though, way back, 2018, where Obona took tickets and went to a trip, to go, football tickets. And so she called him out on Instagram and said, you took, you took my kids, the tickets for my kids to go watch match and went to go and, you know, watch a match. You like to borrow pose. Was insulting the guy, mm -hmm. calling him Olori Buruku Oloshi and all that. Wow. What does that mean? Or they're like curse words. Curse words. Yeah, curse words in words your like, yeah. class and stuff like that. Because yeah. I want to know the level. Because there are levels of curses. No, you know one, what I mean? My dad, this, this one is too much. It's That's your there. in law. Oh, you know? okay, then they'll get you. She cursed, you know, she cussed them, <laughs> cussed them out and called them out on, on social media. Yeah. Whatever you do, whatever you see, you, the picture where he posed in the Lambo, she went there and wrote, whatever you see, whatever you do, we will come back to you. She was just subbing the guy repeatedly. And so Laura felt offended, felt some kind of way about it and said she was not going to forgive the lady. So recently, um, uh, an inter inter internet troll, according to how she called the guy, mm -hmm. had asked why they two, the two of them don't get together. She goes, she's not my friend, mm -hmm. bluntly like that. And so people came after her. How can you say she's not your friend? She's your, she's your in-law. What do you mean by that? And then she went ahead and released one long Right up, because Laura has been known to use the internet to her own uh, favor. Like she likes to, like a sister. Yeah, like like like, like Linda. Linda. Linda, she knows how to play the internet very well. So she gets clout. She will get clout from anything. And I think Absolutely. this was a clout. It was a means to get traffic on her page. Mm. So what's the point of the story? Because it sounds to me like something that can be resolved at home. Exactly. And this is some petty mess. That is it. Yeah. A lot of times people go on the internet, things that you can resolve without behind closed doors. People go on the internet and start to put all their business out there just mm -hmm. for clout. Because honestly, I thought they were messing with the same man. Because you know how <laughs> she has females uh, are. Uh, I'm just saying. You men are like that too. What are you saying? You what men are, mess around with each other. What mm, are you talking about? I'm, I'm well, talking well, about well, well, petty to online like that. Mm. Huh? But yeah, what are men, you to men troll each other online. They're petty. I'm thinking of Whiskey <laughs> and David O'Gone together. I'm just saying that's the same woman. No, but I'm just the thing. No, men are just as bad when it comes to being petty and gossipy. And the internet has created this dynamic where people are not even talking to each other. They are doing full on fight boxing yes. match be, by typing. Mm -hmm. That's what you call right. internet keyboard uh, vipers. Yes. They want to do, 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 cyber do, 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 And cyber then you're not getting anywhere. Mm -hmm. Talk cyber to somebody bullying. face to face if you really have things. Mm -hmm. So it's really built a lot of people's like, uh uh, bravado. Mm -hmm. I can't fight you. I apologize to me, to the world to see. Right. Nobody really Mark cares. Is right, though. I think this is cyber, it's in the form of cyber, cyber bullying. Yes. And, and this, these are the, the yeah. these role models. Mm -hmm. right. People, these are what your daughters are looking up to. I had the same experience with uh, the, mm. the, the, the twins, the P-Square brothers. Yeah. Right. They would always go back and forth mm -hmm. on social media. Like, yeah. when is this going to stop? stop? Like, when are you going to, like, keep cleaning your closet? Like, just... Yeah. 
Leave it right there. We don't need to know about it. We don't you need know to know what's going on. You know what you're going to stop, guys? It's when we stop shedding light on it. So let's move on to the next okay. slide. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> like All right. So Nigerian-American rapper Wale gained many support after stating that mm. Nigerians' parents do not express love to their kids. Absolutely. Oh, mm. uh, yes, he gained a lot of. Is that Nigerian I, surprisingly thing? enough, he gained a lot of um, um, support on Twitter. So this is what he said: okay. Nigerians' parents don't express their love for their children. Husband and wife don't even express love for each other in the faces of their children, and that has affected him. Absolutely. Do you guys support yeah. that? What do you guys think yes. about? That? First of all, let me start with African parents. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just a Nigerian thing. It's mm -hmm. a, you know African parents. You know, uh, I remember it was just like a few years ago that I started telling my mom, "I love you." Like Ooh. you know, yeah. What did she say? How did she? No, no, no. She she told me back too as well. So because Aww, of course she she okay, she almost. she like I've watched her you know grow as well stuff like that. And of course uh, uh, I'm not the only one you know here in the Western world too. And she's also you know living in the Western world as well. So, mm -hmm. And then I feel like that has really you know uh, you know taught her a lot. I I, I just just a few years ago and yeah. also to my to my siblings and stuff like that. Aww. So he's actually right. The thing is, is nice? no 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 <laughs> no no no, so no no that's cute. Okay, that's cute. No. Thanks for that. <laughs> Go away, stop. stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, All the right. thing is, uh, the part that I, I really, like, uh, didn't like when I was looking to that story was, like, it was as though the Nigerian parents or African parents, in quote, yeah. are very neglective of their, you know, kids, you know, but like, they're Isaac just hustling and stuff yeah. like that. They're hustling. They're, like, you know, working and stuff like that, you know, trying to put food on the table. But the thing is, they get carried away with everything, everything. and not, you know, come home and dine together as a family. Listen, that's cute. That's I love cute you and stuff like the that. The last yeah. time I told my mom I love her, mm -hmm. the first thing she said was, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> So with, I was gonna say with me, he's he's right. Yeah. He, he is absolutely Wale's right. Is right. Mm -hmm. Wale's right. Wale is yeah. absolutely. Uh, you know, he's speaking from a like, as a Nigerian because yeah. he wasn't brought up as an Af whole like whole African. Of course, yeah. we, we want that more, yeah. but it's about the same. I don't remember, like you said. Yeah. My mom, I love you. All these, like when I kids Aww. American, I see all these Americans, they're hugging their children, they're saying I love you. I, I didn't even know what that was. Yeah, mine like, just my started mom recently. Yeah. Literally did not see, Maddie, say. Why you make your why are you making those faces? No, can no, I, no, can no, I, no, no, no. And I wanna let me let me finish. Aww. And also what it just kind of I think it impedes us. Shut up, Are you kidding me? Shut up. Okay, anyways, that's no love. They show love in different ways. Yeah. Okay, they have different ways of show, like they'll cook you your favorite meal or they'll do something for you or get you something. But I think that it also impedes us from loving now. Me, I don't even know what, like sometimes you can say, what is real love? What is love? Because yeah. Yeah, my, my, my mother didn't show to me. She shows to me in different ways, but that, that, you know, that more physical talking about it, let's talk about our emotions and stuff like that. So yeah. just recently, like when she upsets me, I'm like, you've upset me and I want to talk about it. I, I tell her that. Mm -hmm. You have those kind of, but you think I could have done that before? I'd have been looking for a nice whipping or something. Mm -hmm. but, money. Guys, money. Well, to be honest with you guys, mm -hmm. that's what I call hasty generalization. Mm -hmm. And that's a fallacy. To be honest, yeah. okay. yes, there's statistics, yeah. but the home in which I grew up, there was Thank love you. right from time. Thank and you. I'm the I'm no, the last, no, no. I'm the last, Let him finish okay. I'm the last of five kids. I have four siblings. Good for you. My parents were very close. My mom, God bless her soul, was very close. She used that word a lot of times. Mm. In Igbo, she used to call me Nedon Wa Mfulina oh, That is Mfulina. amazing. It means my son that I'm in love with. Yeah. Yes. Papa you understand? Love so there was so much love and affection mm. in my house. We always dined together. Mm. We eat suya on Sunday after mm. church. Mm. Chicken stew with pepper soup. Everybody oh, yeah. eat it well, in the yeah. dining. So I don't know what you guys are talking no, 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 about. No, no, see, well, there was expression of love but that's just every thing. day no, see, Mani, the after thing is, work. Sorry, that's please, let, let me, let me so clarify something. Wait, 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 Please, sure. I don't know, and I'm not going to say that you guys come from weird homes because people, <laughs> yes, they people do. do things differently, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. My mother, if I, if she calls me right now, I've never, I don't remember any time that I talk to my mom on the phone and it doesn't end with, I love you. Same with my dad, as weird as it That's sounds, sweet. same with my dad. Okay, I, I love you, you. Text up, I love you too. And you hang up. Mm. That's because I don't know, I think they started doing that because they realized that you never know when you take your last breath and you mm -hmm. don't want to be caught not telling the person that you really care about that you care about them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how many times in a day. I can talk to my mother a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And all hundred times to end with I love you all, and she wait for you to answer her back. That the yes, you do. We are sure her. Yeah, different yeah. homes, different Please. experience. Well, that's cute in your household, but African parents show their love in so many different ways. Yeah. Mm. When your father leaves the house and leaves chalk money, that is love. <laughs> so, excuse me, it's true. My my dad loved me, took care of uh, you know my sisters and I. You know we we are always eating and look at me. Eating, you know, fashionable, 
know what he thinks. Oh God, That's how he showed his love. Yeah. So for for Wale to say that that, that was his experience, mm. we, let, let, we shouldn't forget that. Yeah. That was his experience. Mm -hmm. For me, it has affected me. Mm. My, they they yeah. didn't really say I love you. Yeah. They showed yeah. it. It has affected me in a way. Yeah. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. My friend the other day called me. Her name is Ola. Shout out Ola. And we you know we were talking and she was telling me how I'm a great person and she loves me and all of it. She was just telling me like stuff. And then my reaction was, are what you, do you okay? <laughs> no, I was like, are you dying? <laughs> like, because it was just so weird. Like, I couldn't accept it. Yes. Because mm. that's not my norm. I didn't, you know, growing up, I didn't mm. hear that. Mm. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh my God, I hope all... She was like, Charles, I'm fine. I'm just expressing. Mm. So I think moving forward, those days are over. Yeah. Our grandfathers showed a different way. Mm. It's now on us. Now you have to yeah. The world is a different world right. out there now. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. guess what? If you didn't, if you don't tell your little daughter that you love her, mm -hmm. somebody, somebody else, else will. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and I'm kind of like, yeah. and what I wanted to say earlier is that, like, uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, wait, that face right there. <laughs> it's now, true. Now huh. the thing is to portray what you know Charlie just said. Mm -hmm. In my own family, the love was actually there. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. it's not a like it's not don't like like I was. Responding to Timani, you know, and you also thinking like, oh, where are you guys from? No, the you love. Say that no, 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 no. The ah. thing is, well, you don't have to say that. But the thing is, the love definitely is there. But it's just that you don't get to hear, I love you. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I just, yeah, I, 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 which is, I, I, which is kind of weird because yeah. you're evil. And evil people mm. express love. In love. My, 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 you can't. You can't love. love. But but the thing about that, you can't. <laughs> Put, put people in boxes. It depends on how they were raised. Yeah. Their parents' yeah. parents. Like, their parents' parents. So you evil, Yoruba, Hausa, whatever. Different. It's different. And, and again, is that I know exactly what she's, you know, talking mm. about. You know, but the thing is, in my like, the love is there. Like you can mm. feel it. Right. But it's yeah. just that you no, don't okay, hear so it. Like, okay, so like, bring verbatim, it back to like verbatim, like the you know? Western world. Thing. Yeah. yeah. The, the kids that they, they keep telling them, "I love you." You are. They end up being criminals. No, hold on. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. The end of singing something light. <laughs> Wait, so you asked somebody, you asked the question, would I end up? Did that end it's up to be the the end end of, end of, We don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the, this same, this same kid, singing something this like. same one of Oyo people, <laughs> their kids, their forehead, their cheeks, every, everywhere. So they are 18 and it, they still shoot up schools. They're still so you never know. So I think, <laughs> for me, yeah. I'm going to start it right now. Yeah. Glitz. Glitz? Oh, y'all lying. No, no. Y'all told her how glitz. No, Wait, hold on. Drink some, hey. drink some water. <laughs> glitz, you. Max. Timani, your guy called. I love you. Oh. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> but one thing Wale was really trying to express yeah. that I know no, happens. I love you to each other more. I love you. I love you. I love you too. I love you, Charlie. What about our viewers? We love you, viewers. All right, so let's go to the next topic. Tell us you love us in the comments section. Yes, please. Tell us you love us. All right, so, Glitz. What's going on with the HIV? You always come here oh with the HIV God. stories. Because I have to educate. <laughs> I have to educate people. Yeah. And you have to educate. You have to educate. You have to educate. I definitely have to educate. So, yeah. okay. a 40-year-old um, HIV positive maid in Harare, Zimbabwe, mm. infected oh a 10-year-old boy. Oh, my God. Can you imagine that? So, she is in the, um, she's working for the family, and she's sleeping with the little boy. So, you know, to me, I don't really see a lot of stories about the women, but women do abuse young kids. Yes, they do. We don't see a lot of stories. Like, that's why I wanted to bring a story to Mostly mates. For you guys to see. Mm -hmm. So, she not only infected them with HIV, she also infected them with genital warts, which the grandmother wow. found out before the HIV thing happened. And then they, they treated him, but they didn't think it was hard. I guess they didn't put two and two together. Right. And eventually they did, because the boys started reporting, like, this woman is sleeping with me. She's coming to my room at night. They sleep in the same room, because they're in the maid sometimes. Oh it's in the God. same room with the boy. <laughs> and she's having sex with this 10-year-old boy, infected him. She also has five children. Oh, my God. So why is she? Th why does she think it's okay to abuse this little boy? Now, for the rest of his life, he has to take medication. And we know in Africa, the uh, HIV medication is it's not, not very easy to no, get. It's very not cheap. expensive. It's expensive. So it's not how... Cheap. And she's been sentenced to 25 years, which I don't even think is enough for her. Mm -mm. Because literally, she's given this boy a, a semi-death sentence if something happens yeah. to him. So, like, how do you guys think feel about so, this? So the maid infected uh, a little boy yes. with HIV. So let me tell you something about the maid culture in, in Africa. Mm. Growing up, I had a maid. We had a maid in the house. I One morning I woke up, my mom brought this um, lady <laughs> into our house, you know, to help around the house. And the, a lot of people in, in Africa, or let me say Ghana, do that. When they go and bring this maid into the, into the house, they don't have friends. 
They don't have a social life. Yeah. They don't go to school. Mm -hmm. And I'm not making any excuse for her, but she has sexual needs. And most people that I talk to, most male people that I talk to, lost their virginity to their, to their mates. mates. Wow. Yeah. This mate need Nunu, and the first person they see is the sons in the house. Oh. So for me, it, it's true, Mark. Did you have a mate when you were growing up? Did you have a mate? Did you have a mate? I wasn't interested. Shai, I know I wasn't interested. Yeah, I know I wasn't interested. She tried. She tried. No, she tried. Oh, she did? She definitely tried. Try. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, fine. fine boy like fine me. Boy. Hey. Of course you want to try. So, so it, it, it is happening. And I hope this becomes a lesson yeah. to yeah. people out there. Yeah. Getting maids. Yeah. And it's even worse with the male too. Oh, they'll be yeah. doing it with the male sons too. Yeah. So moving forward, I hope this becomes a lesson to people in Zimbabwe and people in Ghana and people in Nigeria Africa. to be careful. Yeah. The work in the house can be that hard. You can wash those little dishes yourself. <laughs> no, sometimes wow. both parents are very, very hardworking that the working hours mm. don't allow yeah, for them. What we're talking about, but yeah. I feel like we've come to a time where you could have maids, but the maids don't really have to spend the night. You don't have to go get yeah, a maid from the yeah. village. What are you guys talking about? You so not actually, the in maid. They don't have to leave. But the thing is, <laughs> the maids can actually rape the children during the daytime. Mm. Yeah, but what if they're not alone, go, they won't. Nighttime, you're, everybody's you're asleep. You're going far from men. My thing is, you should properly vet these people that you put in your home. Oh, I Properly vet the people that you put in your home. You cannot leave a complete stranger You cannot vet the person who's going to do in the future. Yes, you can. How? Psychologists. Now you have, now they have um, what they call it, uh, companies that actually do their background yeah. checks. Those are expensive. Yeah, we want cheap, fast made. Mm. What you do is you take that torture, go all the way to a good old village, and you come back <laughs> to the <laughs> maid. That is why, you see, what that's the thing, that's the thing with cheap article. Oh. Cheap article. With the wrong belly. <laughs> I will get past belly. Yeah. Cheap article, now you have a child that has HIV, AIDS, and what? You mm -hmm. have to properly vet these people. A woman that has five children, that, that one, mind you, she's sick, because you have five kids and you're ripping a 10-year-old boy that, what can he do? What can a 10-year-old boy think, possibly do um, for you? Yeah, yeah, so the many thing crimes is, it's not only sexual needs. Some of these maids, they do me? a lot. There was a maid that was breastfeeding so, someone else's child. Dynamic. Beat them up. There, there was Big a maid that was head. beating a baby. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many things that maids we, can do. So whether they have, you vet them or you don't vet them, the best thing, I think, is no sleepover maids or you put yeah. camera in your house. Oh, right. camera. Point, so we have to move on to the next topic. Okay. Say your point. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we are, we're also forgetting, you know, supervision as well, too. No, no matter how you vet anyone, you still have to, you know, supervise and put your eyes on ground. And, you have you know, to be in the house for you to supervise. <laughs> but I do want to say that my maid the taught me how to read. Whatever you need to do, just read. My maid, as you are from yeah. Ghana, she taught one. me how to read. Like, my mom didn't teach oh, me how to read. you didn't know how to read. Was, you didn't no, go to I, school. No, I did go to school, but you don't know. Okay. Literally, with some of these maids, we can't villain that, because some of them really do do amazing stuff mm -hmm. with the children, and they do care. So there are maids that really do care about the kids in the household. So. Um, shout out to you if you're out there in Ghana. I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> so let's where? move on to the uh, next They are blocking. Topic. They're not going to Ghana. Okay, you have this one for us. What's going on? Uh, okay, talking about, you know, the chaotic situation with the elections and everything is not enough. <laughs> now, Muhammad Buhari has been re-elected Niger as Nigeria's, uh, you know, president for oh. the second term. Why are you all sad? Congratulations, anyway. Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. Nigerians, clap. clap. <laughs> no? People Nobody, voted, okay. so at least, you know, okay. conversation, but yeah, go let's, ahead. Uh, yeah. What so, are the people saying? Uh, well, uh, you know, I mean, f there's so much, you know, jubilation back home still. Mm -hmm. Jubilation in, 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 in the northern part. Um, so now the question is, is his journey, you know, the quest for anti-graft or, you know, uh, fighting corruption, is it still, you know, visible? Is that... Can, can we still actualize that? Can we still actualize that? Let me tell you one of the things. Let me tell you one of the things. Okay, please go ahead. No, please. Please. So, his quest for anti-corruption that found snakes stealing money, gorillas picking money, rats eating money, that graft is not happening. It's never going to happen. It's never going to get there because he is the most corrupt with his own hiring his squad of Hausa men that are just chopping, chopping, chopping money. Mm. The corruption is mm. not going to be stopped under his reign. We hope the next reign. But I heard that Atiku is contesting those counts. Yes. So let's wait. Yeah, he's he not hasn't happy agreed to that. Let's wait. You know, yeah, you know I, it's sad for me to say this, actually. I'm kind of happy that he won. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because throughout the whole election thing, I didn't, I don't, I didn't trust him. I felt like if he would have lost, there would have been some fight going on right now, war going on right now, because he actually said out of his mouth that nobody can unseat me. He did say that. And he said that. For me, that's a threat. For me, that put fears into people that was going to vote. Because 
who, who would have known? Maybe he wins right now. There's war going on because he doesn't agree that he's gonna uh, he lost, and then there's fights going on. Blah, blah. So for me, let him stay there for four years. Hmm. Mm. Stick to it for four years. My people in Nigeria, <laughs> four years will go very soon. We are here dealing with Trump. Deal with Buari for four years, <laughs> eh? this is and then hopefully eight years, yes. not four years. No, no, eight years. Then. Four more years. No, that's, 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 that's the second. Miss Fire, go ahead. It's three. It's number one. We <laughs> Nigerians, one. We, we American Nigerians and Nigerian Americans, we are quite unfortunate. Mm. We have to deal with two crazy people. Hey. We're dealing with Trump hey. and you're dealing back as our president. Uh -huh. We're dealing with Buari as mm. our president. I am so sorry as We're a Nigerian. A number one. Number two. Double penetration. <laughs> you have a man. From the front and the back. Oh, oh my God. I'm so, we are sorry. Hey, yo. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're sorry. Number two. Mm -hmm. You have a country where a lot of videos came up, came mm. to light about mm -hmm. Reagan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You saw videos of people Tom Printon <laughs> and all that. Mm. But we saw it on both sides. On both sides. But, but, but the thing is, we saw it, Sha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the results were accepted as is. Yes. How yes. is it, or where have you heard that Reagan was done openly, daylight, we can see proof, and yeah, they still accepted those results? In America, the Russian wrecked our election. We did not see, yeah. we didn't see concrete proof, or like the one we that we saw in Nigeria. Video. We've seen the did FBI see, came out and, and said yes. Came out and said yes, the difference is different from actual in the progress. points. Yeah. You see them, yeah. and they accepted those results, yeah. and next thing you know, boom, he's president. Before he got elected, they interviewed him. With so much confidence, they asked him, um, "Are you going to win this next election?" He said, "Yes, we are going to win, mm -hmm. <laughs> and nobody can unseat me." Okay. So, for somebody to be that confident, mm. just like Charlie said, mm. paraventure, if this man did not win this election, Fire. please, Seth, I will be back home now so because bad. I will be scared for my family. Be problems, mm -hmm. yeah. When he was in power for the past four years, the Fulani headsmen were able to invade the East, yes. all the cattle rearers. Yes. Mm -hmm. They did nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those people don't even, they don't even need guns. Mm -hmm. If that guy, if the, if the whole of the Northerners want to invade or hold Nigeria like this, you know what I feel? Nothing I feel is going like to stop all those, them. All those so for now, cattle let's men. sacrifice these four years mm -hmm. and let's let him rule. I feel like those Please. Fulani cattle men are so wait, super isn't agents. Giving up? Isn't that giving up though? Because our sister Odera is back in Nigeria fighting, fighting, fighting. Isn't that you just giving up? I, I, know I, I haven't that told Odera, just... fight, but fight with sense. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you never <laughs> born. You don't have kids. Mm. You don't have husband. Mm. Please go for big brother. Leave Buari alone mm. for now. I swear to God, because sometimes, even, yeah. even good luck, Jonathan said that his political ambitions are not worth the life of his people. That mm -hmm. he can't mm -hmm. fight over political ambition and then neglect the lives of the people and yeah, let them I die because he wants so. to be president. But right. Buari doesn't care about anybody. Mm -hmm. He's also from the, he's a military man. You there know, you he is, he is a military man. And when you think in your mindset about war, he's always in a war, war mindset. Like, yeah. You can tell even the, not a what civilian. the attacks on the electoral process mm -hmm. were like war. Yeah. It was like war attacks, like in different places, key places. Yeah. You attack and bring people down, break people down. So literally the way he thought about this was I'm at war We're and going I'm going to, to take it. Me? I'm taking it was kind of like a coup. This, this is, is a, a coup. A coup yeah. This is a, a man that coup. said that yeah. shoot on sight. Anybody that you see carrying ballot boxes shoots on sight. Yeah, Are you kidding what, me? Army officer to shoot on sight. That's what he said. Yes, they were still rigging. And also they rigging. the well, national that's, election. That's, that's, and that's, also the national mm -hmm. we, we have to go though, uh, uh, mm -hmm. without time. But also the national election mm -hmm. doesn't happen on Twitter. Okay, huh. I see a lot of youth. Boy, we must go by. Yeah. But did you go Twitter vote? Warriors. You did it. We, let us know, viewers. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on these way. topics. I love you guys. I love back, you. Back to the Wally Wally topic. I love you. love you guys. And we love you guys. Come back. Love you guys. Until next time you're watching the ABS Bye. show. This is Mina TV. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.